Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world of Astaria, the ongoing Dungeons and Dragons campaign podcast here on the Game House Twitch page, the World of Astaria YouTube channel, and now, as we're going to try and pivot out as much as we can, the World of Astaria Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Let's go. The Twitter being the most recent edition, and uh, that Twitter handle again, <laughs> thanks to your genius master of the universe myself, is welcome to Astaria. That's W-E-L-C-O-M-T-O-A-S-T-A-R-I-A. Welcome Reinforced. to Astaria. There's no E at the end of welcome. Yeah, Just, it's, it's welcome. perfectly clear, so you know exactly where to go. Yes, welcome to Astaria. Yes. And as well as the Instagram page, which has been up for a much longer time and I use almost every single day, uh, the world of Astaria. The underscore world underscore of underscore Astaria. Go check those out. And if you're able to, go check out the YouTube page, The World of Astaria. Yeah, we I was able to get it across to all platforms. Also, welcome to the chat, Chardon. Hopefully you're having a good day, buddy. But with the shameless self-plugging out of the way, we can go ahead and get into the introduction of my crew. We got everybody here. We have Sam, we have Rob, we have Marie, and last but not least, we have the man himself, Braxton, as their perspective characters. I as they, oh, I usually get introduced first, not last. Oh, That's a it. nice change. Yeah. Yes. That's interesting. In your contract, it officially says I have to mix it up at least every single five months. Okay, that, that's fair. Yes. That's odd, I would say, every single five months. Yeah. I mean, you know. That's an odd way to group months I mean, together. You but had hey, me write it I'm for you here. since you were busy, so I just, you know, did whatever I wanted. Hey, man. But I still. I'm just glad that uh, I'm glad the contract's being enforced. That's yeah. what, I, what can I say? Look, I made sure you got at least over half the budget going to you. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Maybe we don't say that in public, Jan. Uh, right. right. Uh, 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 <laughs> cut the feed. Cut the stream. Get uh, us out of here. But. Uh, last time on the world of Astaria. Uh, one second. Thankfully, that was uh, not on the main page. I just had a little pop up on my screen saying restart now. No. Either way, <laughs> I love Microsoft Windows and its fucking updates. Last time we had left awesome. off, Good stuff. the Doomsday Defenders had managed to finally land at the the seemingly familiar port town of Tessital, where they had indeed fought off a invasion of gnolls and other creatures long ago. <clears throat> Meeting up with an old friend, Mira, the owner of a flying magical items shop. And after a bit of a back and forth, where they tried to turn Salvador into a bit of a gigolo, which ultimately failed, they were able to secure enough funds to buy themselves the key to a flying tower Brand new car basically yeah a flying tower yeah. of questionable status at the very least the owner of the magic shop promised he would help assist getting it up and running uh but that being said they agreed that uh they would uh exchange uh the the monetary goods for said tower Mira being more than happy to assist them in getting it up and running they all then gathered their group after uh, sending the deceased Chad back to uh, Gilitra as best they could and so they made their way into Mira's home the flying four story home it is indeed four story unfortunately I couldn't build four stories but we'll come to that in a minute and with their little bit of a, you know, a shaky kind of like uplift, the home slowly arose into the air, flying out of the town and leaving it in the dust as the sun went about setting. It's, it's about getting close to dusk. Uh, you guys in the air as the home rocks a bit as the wind blows against it sailing through the skies. And you had noticed, you had noticed that as you were going along, the horrible sound of uh, street cheating as you all looked out back and you saw a wyvern quickly flying towards you all and with that yeah, i'd like everyone to roll initiative but i also need 
to share my screen to you guys. Monka S. All right, and guess what? Here comes the fun part for the stream, at least. Now, you see this roll 20 part? Uh, we can finally do the webcam and the roll 20, as I got them both side by side. Look at that production value. It skyrocketed by me Beautiful. just not being an idiot. Holy shit, that was a bad roll. Oh my god. Ooh. Aragon, you're not having fun in this flying house. Feel ill. I'm having average fun. Yes, That's an but... 11. Uh, oh, I am perfectly average. Yes. Right on the nose. Uh, but whilst we are getting right, the initiative rolled, up, I'd just like to take a second to show off both camera angle one of the flying home and camera angle two. There it is in all its glory. And a Beautiful. bit of desert rock stuff to help set the scene and whatnot. Totally not to cheat the fact that it looked very basic as it was just a desert. <laughs> Nothing but sand for miles. Very visually uh, pleasing. But either way, we have in the initiative order at the moment. <clears throat> we have... Revan needs to roll. Right. I'm rolling right now. Sorry, guys. It's all good. So now... Forgot what I needed this, this up. Wow, that was a oh, really great lineup, guys. I was doing my best impression of me. Okay, <laughs> so we got Salvador, Mina, Revan. All right, time for me to roll for the uh, collective group of NPCs. Oh, and the thing went away. All right, NPC's got a nine. Great. Go. And it's time to roll for the wyverns. And they got an 11. All right, get that back up there. I could just, I'll, I'll have to find some dice to physically roll with. I think I got them kicking around here, but yes. Uh, okay. So our initiative order, let me just go ahead and get up, get this damn chair out of the way. Bye bye, chair. You get your stream when you fix this damn chair. <laughs> With that being said, we have in initiative order we have Salvador, then Mina, the Wyverns, the NPC group, Revan, and then Aragon. And with that, Salvador, what would you like to do? As I remember, I have to put the battle music on loop. There we are. First off, Roro. Uh, that's the big one. I'm a. Uh... This this is a big boy, oh. and I'm a small boy, uh, and gotta say, I'm not looking too good. Uh, so uh, this guy, he's on the outside of the ship, right? Uh, yes. Uh, you gotcha. Are... Any open any open windows right now? Oh. Uh, let's see. As you're on the top floor, aka the fourth floor, pretend there's there's four floors. There's only three, but pretend there's four. Uh, you have a bay window here, here, and here, but nothing behind you. There's the steps right in this back corner, um, but this room, as it was shown on the map initially, is very basic. It's pretty much just mm. the cockpit flight area. Gotcha, I hear you, okay. Uh, so, behind me is a bit, not, not on my floor, there's no windows, right? Well, as I just said, I there's that. bay window one, bay window two, and bay window three, gotcha. but nothing out back. Sounds good, okay, yes. So, no good angles right now, makes sense, I got you. Uh, this is a very awkward situation. I'm not gonna shoot the guy. I, I know I, I love the shooting, but um, today is not that day. Oh, right, so, I what? think what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is I'm just gonna tap tap both the wrists. The uh, Eldritch Blisters rise out, or I guess Eldritch Blister singular, if okay. you're looking at it like that. Uh, and that's with my really quick, I think that's with my action and uh, with my bonus action. I will do nothing. Not even moving or anything like that? You're just gonna stay put? Nope. <laughs> okay. I, 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 no, I'm just not anything. I'll, I'll start walking casually to the lower decks, you know? Okay, uh, would you like to go to floor two or floor one? I will go to floor two. Okay. All right, here we go. I hope you all are ready for a game of Jenga. Let's go to change the camera. Let's go. Excited. 
Here we go. This is really good to do while I have all these wires and things from my head to my mic. <laughs> I'm choked, Jan. Okay, you said you're heading to the As you head down the steps, getting to the bottom of the steps, and let's go ahead and change that camera angle again so you can actually see into that floor. Well, this is normal, actually. Goodness yes. gracious me. It's and, a nice uh, little comfy room. And yeah, you, you see, like, along this wall, there's a there's the bedroom door you were told about. And there is indeed a window right here in the back. That, uh, mm, you, perfect. that if you need, you know, you can go ahead and step right there. You can definitely see the wyvern approaching uh, not too far away. Perfect. And is this window open? or? It's openable. Ah, uh, perfect. Would that be a bonus action or just a free action? A free action. A free action. Nice. Okay, I popped the bad boy open. All right, you uh, opened the window. Okay, I'll 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 briefly consider seeing this wyvern flying toward us. The the ethics of shooting a creature, I I don't know if it's entirely dangerous, and then just decide that ah uh, fuck it, it's an animal and I'm a boy. So uh, I'm gonna shoot this bad boy All right. uh, with my bonus action. Go ahead and roll oh. to attack. Perfect. So this will be slash R. 1d20 plus 5, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that will be... No, no, I'm sorry. No, it's plus 6. Okay. So plus 6. That is a... Nope, 9 to hit. That'll miss. We're off to a good start, fellas. Yeah. Really high rolls, gang. Why haven't just... Much problem. Dodging out of the way. Anything else? I crouch below the windowsill. All right, fair enough. You're taking cover as best you can. With that up next is Mina, and here we go, another game of Jenga. Let's go ahead and change that well, camera. Well, let back. me save you. Let me save you. Okay. Let me save you. Um, I'm gonna yell. Does anyone have a a a, a, a visual on the target? Yes, yeah, sort of. Uh. He's a big boy and he's out this window. And I'm he's he's such a big boy, I'm just gonna hide for dear life. If you wanna take a shot on him up here is the, the place to do it. Right now. Okay. I'll say this, um, Mina. You would also know that there's this back window right here. On your floor. Beautiful. I'm uh I'm a I'm a run scurry my little self down there too. Alright, in that case we're gonna Jenga Tower. Jenga Tower. Here we go. This was a little bit more difficult. <laughs> here we go. There's everybody else. Back to the overview. Because Mina, you were already. Oh, do I have a wait, wait. Oh, I have a window already. Yeah, you you oh, I remember perfect. last time you guys were the ones who went to the window, so you were at the Okay, window. I didn't I didn't remember if I had a window or not. Okay. okay. I am going to go ahead and cast Firebolt then. Alright. Because I'm not fucking around. Go ahead and roll to hit the boy. Yeah. A 22. That's a 22 to definitely hit. Definitely hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Hell yeah. Put Salvador's floor on the ground here. There we are. Uh, six damage. Alright. Let me just write that down. There not is. great. W1. Um, and then let me see, um, is there anything else I want to do? Um, hold on. Where is my... Ooh, okay, um, who's next to me? Is uh, Revan next to me? Right now, in this floor, yeah, Revan's right here, right next to you. Behind you is Storm, and next to Storm is Aragon. Beautiful. Revan, I am going to, as my bonus action, cast um, Magic Weapon, and you get plus one to your uh, attack rolls and damage rolls. Nice. I'm feeling energized. Alright, Magic Weapon. Here we go, Revan. Let's see if this, uh, gets this dick. Yep. There. there we go. There we are. It's on you. All right. After Mina, it is the Wyvern's turn. As as it gets hit with that My initial name. fireball, 
it'll let out a screech like <sighs> and with that you'll hear the increased flapping of wings as coming from this direction using its movements to get bounce oh no not that one that one has a logo on it i can't use that uh -huh. there we are getting about right here starting to fly towards the front of the house it's almost dropped the guy oh, come on is another wyvern. Ugh. And because it is out of range, it can't attack. However, upon the sound being called out, flying from the direction of the kind of cliff face and you're flying towards, will appear this other wyvern. What direction is the house traveling in? That way. That Where's way, okay. So it's directly in front of where we are going. Yes, it is. It. it is starting to uh, flutter and flap its wings towards the house. Got it. Um, should we yell up to um, what's his name to like stop the house moving? I mean. Or... You... Maybe we should keep going? Well, here's the thing. Okay. I think that would be good. This is indeed All a conversation right. you can have. You However, now as it is no longer the Wyvern's turn, it is the NPC's turn. As... Actually, you guys would not know one is approaching from the front. Felton is going to go ahead and approach here. Look out the window and see this guy coming. Eris is going to... You know what, guys? Can you do me a favor? Can you pick odds or evens? Um, evens. Evens. That is a one. Eris. I'm sorry, not a one. Would you want to do? It? Okay, so based on the fact that you get to choose, do you want to have Eris do something reckless or something smart? She doesn't seem like she's done reckless things in the past, so I feel like she would mostly do things that were, like, smart and calculated. Okay. In that case, what she's going to do... Hopefully not jump out the window. No, it wouldn't be jump out the window. She's gonna go ahead and just kind of look around, seeing that there's stuff lying around. She's gonna at least turn towards the door and just be ready for anything to come in through the door. All right, that's fair. All right, with that, that was a Felden and Eris's turn. A storm would be commanded by Mina. He's kind of, you know, not much he can do. And let's go ahead and go back to the pilot. We're gonna go ahead and put the house back together a bit. Alright, up top, he is going to go ahead and see that there's a wyvern uh, directly flying towards his home. He's going to go ahead and put on the brakes. He's going to kind of pull up the loudspeaker. He's like, okay, uh, looks like we floated into some hostile airspace. Uh, we have one of two options. A, immediately land and hope these things fuck off. Or B, shoot them enough to where they fuck off. We're, we're basically... Hoping that if we do enough things, they either leave or we can just completely stop our momentum and just come to the ground. Okay. Well, we've started shooting. Great. I'll go ahead and, uh... Well, we're all in the process of stopping. It'll take a couple minutes to get back momentum again, but uh, just, just keep them off my house. Do, sir. Alright, with that... Arrakis is going to do as he's been told. He's going to go ahead and go to the closest bay window. See that one. And the order has been set to keep them off his house. All right. Yeah, Arrakis is going to go ahead and do the thing that he knows will hit. He's going to do a magic missile at... Yep, we'll do a magic missile third level at... Let's see, three darts, second... Four darts. 
of damage. He's going to go ahead and roll 4d4. Two. Six. Eight. Twelve. <clears throat> yep, okay, so that's plus four. That is 16 points of damage to the Wyvern 2 out front. Do the quick math. All right. That, that'll be his turn as he's just rolling down the window and fucking doing a drive-by, just with that. That is all the NPCs who can attack. Up next is Revan. It is I. All right. Um, trying to see kind of what. Sorry. It's all good. Go ahead. It's coming out for me a little bit. No. I mean, I'm nearest. <coughs> yeah, you're currently at this back window. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to put my Hunter's Mark on and take my shots at that dude. Yeah, no problem. As you go ahead, there. Hunter's Mark the Wyvern. Hey, that one looks pretty good around his neck. Let's go. This is an 18 hit. An 18 will indeed hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Let's go. Get seven. And I'm not gonna. I'm gonna uh, wait till we get a total. So go ahead and roll all your attacks and all your damage. Okay. Oh, 11 damage for the first right. shot. We're at 11. I'm guessing a six does not hit. A six will miss. Are you shot. adding your plus one? It's a nine. I am. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm so guessing a nine misses. Nine will also miss. Okay. So 11 damage. All right. <clears throat> Doing good, doing real good. Anything else, Revan? No, I think that'll be it for me. All right. Last but not least, we got Aragon. That's certainly least, according to rolls today. Um, so what? What's? And maybe I have to. I have to perceive this, but like, what is this? The stability of what we're 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 duking it out on because i heard some of jenga reference earlier and i'm like ooh, this... that's more of the fact it's just precariously placed on top of a bunch of boxes but uh the house itself oh. is pretty sturdy it's, it's okay sturdy i thought house. that was uh i thought that was uh about sort of the game player something to keep in mind anyway. no that'd be a cool idea i'm gonna have to use it at some point but no not right now it's a lot to ask but <laughs> i would not be shocked if you just worked it in anyway uh what Oh, I can't. So I see me next to SAB. Where's the... Oh, all these... How far away are these fuckers? Uh, let's see. This wyvern... Let's go ahead. So he's roughly... 5, 10, 15, 20... He's about 25 feet away from the house. There's a solid wall here. That wyvern... I, I think I can get enough slack on my mic here. No, no, you're good. 5, 10, 15... 20, he's about like maybe 30 feet away this one well the problem is essentially I don't have I just don't have the weaponry mm. to to engage with any of these guys true uh, I'll say this Aragon uh huh you do see this is the second is this the second or the third floor uh right now you guys are on the first floor okay uh with the front door right there and I'll say this Aragon you do see the familiar carpet that Revan had um, exchanged, uh, and you do know that it is a flying carpet. Ooh. That's interesting. Do I need to do any rolls to potentially mount that son of a bitch? Um, I'd say it'd be a free action to unroll it, but if you want to hop on the flying carpet, you can. Just That would also oh, just... Uh, let's see. Do I have anything to be a magic carpet? But yeah, are you going to see about flying the carpet out into the sky? Yeah, let's see about this thing. <laughs> All right. Otherwise, it just, 
Otherwise, I'm just cooped up on the on the flying house. All right. I do not have a carpet mini, sadly. What about just some cardboard? Uh, no, I got something. I got something here. We're gonna go ahead and use a lid. Nice. All right. Here we go. We're gonna have to use the branded one. As I'm assuming. Let's see. Be, oh, oh, card. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I'd say you'd have to walk to the front door 25 feet, and then opening the front door would also be just easy enough to do. Okay, so I'm in position next turn to get on the carpet and, and Oh no, and you'd be able to, like, skate this thing right outside the door. Now. Okay. Higher. You're good. <clears throat> in this moment, I know it's a little stupid, I genuinely wish that I knew how to crochet so that I could make us a a carpet. <laughs> that's, that's that's all right. Yeah, Aragon, you're you're uh you're you're silver surfering right out the door. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take SAB with you, or maybe keep him inside? We'll keep him not, inside. Not a ton of room on this thing. True. Hey, don't that's worry, fair. dinosaurs can fly. Yeah. Right. Always have. All right. It's pterodactyl now. Aragon, the yeah. carpet speed. I think I have it somewhere here. Because you could also command the carpet to move as a bonus action. It has a speed of, let's see, we said, what, 600? It has a speed of 40 feet. Damn. Whoa. That's good. So I have to, so this could be my second action to move in position on one of these wyverns? Uh, no, that would be a bonus action. Okay, got it. All right, so that'll be next turn. All right, we're good. All right, then. You're flying out in front of the house with that. Uh, top of the initiative with Salvador. Let's go ahead and get him back up on the board. There we go. Fantastic. Now, I I do one thing, and it's happening again, and that's I'm I'm you know peeking up over the windowsill. I'm looking at this big scale bird, and I'm just gonna let fly another blast from the Elder Ballista. All right. Um, go ahead and roll a hit, buddy. Slash R one D twenty plus six. That is a natural one. Oh God. I, is someone keeping track of the pure, unfiltered Arby. number of natural ones I've been rolling these past few sessions? Salvador, something, you, something's uh, busted in my wrist cannon. Can you roll me a d100? I, oh, I no. certainly he can. can. Roll you a, no, he can roll you a 1 out of 100. Oh, no. And that, that is a 51, so uh, not Ooh. quite average. Okay. But not quite on average, either. Okay. Uh, you... You go triumphantly holding your cannon up ready to blast this fucking thing but you forgot to open the window as you just completely destroy this man's window oh god <laughs> as you just hear oh, broken glass god. just flying out of the back mirror just like did one of them break my window or was, one the, was that one of you uh the, the, the wyvern rocks hail hail Sh i'm fine shut up i i, I shoot a tray of frost at the wyvern all right go ahead and roll to attack that's such a sick lie. Natural one. <laughs> oh. That is my second natural one in a row. Can you, make a, can you, can you just make me a general dex save? Oh no. Oh, Wait, let me no. check my dex bonus. This is hard. <laughs> uh, why did I become an adventurer? I should have like a desk job. Holy shit. I mean, you did originally in your backstory. <laughs> true, true. Why did I stop doing that? Uh, let's see. So my the dex save is is pretty fine. Okay, I gave have a plus five to this. Okay. Uh, so slash uh, one, one d twenty one. plus five. Don't fuck me. Roll twenty. It's a it's a tw it's an even hey, twenty. It is it, it's a dirty it. twenty. It is a natural twenty. Thank the high, whatever powers that be that are looking over and cursing Salvador. So in your panic, oh as you kind of start to cast the ray of frost, you cast it on this man's wall and floor, but luckily. You're managing to just quickly step out of the way as it, like, freezes a little bit on the floor and slowly fades away. If you had failed, you might have slipped and fallen down the steps, taking <sighs> a d4 damage. Oh, uh, oh my, it's a, it's a, guys, I think it's a frost wyvern. A thing wow. that exists. Oh, wow. Oh my, oh, it's such a dangerous thing. It's, it's just deflecting all of my blast, uh, normal blasts, regular, normal wyvern stuff. All Fucking right. cut to the next player. Oh, God. All right, up next, after Salvador, is Mina. Let's go get your floor. Sorry, storm. Storm is uh 
making a, a racket in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. Storm is um, on. You know, he's doing his best on guard, letting people know that there's danger. Exactly, exactly. He's the best boy, goodest Oof. boy. Okay, um, I am gonna go ahead and just cast another firebolt. Okay, go and roll so... with it. An eight. I don't think that's hitting anything. An eight will unfortunately miss as you just, you know, shoot out the okay. back window as the bolt just kind of like sails just before he reaches him. Okay. Um. Is there anything else I can do? Anything at all? Looks like no. Yeah. Nope. That's uh. That's all I got. All right. With that after Mina, it I'm is fine. the wyverns. And this boy, being assaulted by the second story, is going to fly up and forward. And as the... Oh, hold on a second. Let me get the second story back in play. As Salvador, rapidly approaching you and your busted open window, is this wyvern who's going to go ahead and try and make a tail attack at you at disadvantage, since you have so much... A uh, good, good bird, a good bird, normal birdie. <laughs> God, the stinger? It's the stinger? Yeah, so a lot of people have a very common misconception about wyverns thinking like, oh yeah, they breathe fire. There. Or fire. No. They do poison. Oh my god. <laughs> They're flying scorpion with right. less legs. What horrible god invented these? So, that is a 14, <laughs> that is a, uh, a 14 plus 7. For, oh my um, goodness gracious what is the, what is god the What's the number? That, that's, that, that would be a 14 plus 7, that would be a... 21. 20, 21, I, I cast shield. Okay, yep. So this... that brings my, brings my AC oh, up to 22, so that's gonna barely miss. You may, not ha you may not have to, I forgot the disadvantage. Oh. That is a 15 plus 7, so the 21 okay. is lower. But yes, as the stinger just shoots through the window, you just like just wave your hand in front of your face, just like shoot, as the stinger just like stops in front of your nose. Stop doing that! Who made you? And we hey, just shut up! It is going to use its multi attack. What? <laughs> to try and claw at the wall to remove the obstacle. Oh no! Um. Oh no! That's a fourteen. Is this, is this insured? As a 14, as the broken open window is clawed at, busting the wall down to 50% integrity. Just oh, that wall God. is now at 50%. No. With oh, that, lordy me. With that, that is the first wyvern. The, the first wyvern? Let's see. Where's the there's more? The <laughs> second wyvern is going to go ahead. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Yeah, there's three of them. Right. Let me get no. the uh, third oh, no. one. Oh, Back in play here as a racket. Other wyvern. I gotta empty it real quick. Just gotta make some more props. There we are. That'll be fine. As the third wyvern, or the second wyvern rather, is gonna go ahead and fly up to the bay window, which is just glass that has been opened, and he's gonna make a stinger attack at Arrakis. Oh no. Oh, thank God, it's just the dork. That's cocked. Excuse me. That is we 10 on die, which is Arrakis' armor class. So that oh, is definitely going to hit for 2d6 plus 4. Oh god, I should I should have cast a shield of faith. That 7 <laughs> damage plus 4. That's got 11 damage to Arrakis. Oh no. Now here's the thing. Oh no, you guys did get a long rest in, so he'd be back to full health. So let me just do a quick long rest for my boy. And then take off 11 health. Uh, but, as I said, that's the stinger. Uh, which the target must make a constitution saving throw. Let's see, Iraq is not. Con save. Why does anyone want to steal him? 
So that's a, that's a 13. That's a failure. As Arrakis is going to be taking uh -huh. 76 poison damage. <gasps> oh no. Alright, we got 3d6 here. Well, um... I'm gonna be running upstairs to heal him, so that'll be fun. You don't know fun. this is happening. Fuck! <laughs> so, that's 5 plus 7, 8 damage, and then 8 plus 18, 22, 25 damage of poison, as he is now very much poisoned. Oh dear god. However, I am gonna have him use Hellish Rebuke as a reaction. <sighs> okay. Reaction. Okay, the Wyvern needs to make a dex save of. Where is it? Dex save of 14. There are only average dex risk for creatures that fly. That is a failure. As the wyvern's gonna be taking. What is it? 3d10. Nice. That's okay. that's helpful at least. Holy shit, that's 30 points of damage to that wyvern. Hell yeah. The wreck has got him as good as he got got. Yeah, that's good at least, and the wyvern doesn't have anybody to heal him uh, that we know of. Right. Suddenly, the cleric wyvern approaches. So we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it has been prophesized the great healing wyvern. All right, so that is sixty-eight. It's on, and as it gets hit with fire, it's going to use its multi-attack. <laughs> Uh, no. And it is going to try and go in with the claws now. That's a five. That'll miss. Even wait, five plus seven is thir thirteen, right? No, it's twelve, which hits because Arrakis has an AC of ten. Uh, claw attack. Two D eight plus four. You would all, Mina, I'll say this, even though I said it before, you would hear the, the gust of fire, as well as Arrakis screaming in pain. Yeah, I was going to assume that he's probably and with that, making some sort of noise. It is the third wyvern's turn, as it is going to see Aragon just kind of flutter out the front oh, yeah. door. Oh, he's yeah. going to go ahead and, if I can reach around to the front... He's gonna go ahead and. Uh. Props, props, props. This'll work. There we go. <laughs> he is going to fly right up uh -huh. to you. Oh. Good. There we go. There we are. He's on your level and he's right up on you. With that. First attack. That is an 18 plus 7 with a claw attack. A what? Eight, 18, it's plus, a, it's a what? 18 plus 7. Nah, I don't, I, I don't think you did that right. I'm actually, I might kill you guys. Nah, I don't think you did that right. So that's claws or 2d8 plus 4. Okay, you only take... So, two plus four. You take six points of damage. This thing just claws you. Okay. And nice. this going to use multi-attack. That's cocked. That's a nat one. That'll miss. Nice. Because, yeah, you just see this thing getting up right in your face, and, like, it, it, it gets you a bit, but you manage to just get the arm up and block its second attack. 
Excellent, excellent. And All it's, right. it's right up on me, correct? Yes. Like zero distance? Yes. Perfect. Uh, I know image-wise there's still a bit of space, but it's, it's on you. With that, up next are the NPCs. Arrakis is going to look at this thing that just royally fucked him up. And he's just going to be like, oh, oh, you're a problem. A big, big problem. And he's <laughs> going to... Yeah, he's going to go ahead and do a fifth level lightning bolt. There, uh, there you go. So, a so, boy. So, at higher level. So, right now, fifth or uh, a lightning bolt, it stated um, the damage it does, from what I'm seeing on DD Beyond, it does. Where'd it go? Ah, it does 10d6. And he's upcasting it. Oh, shit. So, lightning bolt. Okay. Fourth level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6. So he's doing 11d6 damage. So that'll be. Okay, so the Wyvern needs to make a dex save. That is a. That Wyvern is a failure. Would someone like to roll me 11d6? I would be happy to. Do with, it, buddy. With my luck, we'll have very good... Um, Your roll? Do it. You have a yeah. great roll, always. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty average. That's a 36. 36. All right. Need to do some quick math here. Uh, so oh. above half. Fuck. Yeah, that is, a, that is enough to fucking spoof this thing off. Nice. Yeah. As you guys just hear and see, it's almost as if a fucking storm front had just rolled in. It's just the sound of <laughs> just rings out as Arrakis just kind of like limply stands up, clutching the wall. It's just like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that thing is gonna be scared on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little thing to say that it is scared for its life. All right, next NPC being Mira, he's gonna go ahead and put the house in, you know, to start going forward. But he's gonna go ahead and rush to Arrakis' aid. He is going to let's see what he can do as such a moderate salesman with a little bit of magic know-how. Boy, he does not have that much offensive capabilities. He's gonna. Pick up a spare wrench in his in his bandolier of tools. He's gonna huck it at that fucking wyvern <laughs> for an unarmed strike. Pitiful. Hey, nineteen plus two. You just hear like the sound outside, like yeah, dunk. For one point of damage. As he's just like, get the hell away from my house! He's gonna go ahead and take cover behind the wall. Alright. That is those two. We're gonna go ahead and move these guys. To get to Felden and Eris. Felden is going to bonus action cast spiritual weapon. Where's the spiritual weapon? Where it go? Okay, we're gonna improvise. Hey, this will work perfectly. The sword and the stone. Just before I use it, go ahead and get a look at this thing I painted for totally nothing later on in the campaign. Sweet. It's a literal sword and a stone. As Felden is gonna go ahead and just summon it behind. And he's just gonna go Ooh. ahead and wait. As you can't attack with it when it's summoned. It's just like, uh, I know I can do that at range. <laughs> with that, up next is Eris, who I don't think has any range either. Hmm. Yeah, nope. She, I mean, she has range technically, but she's gonna lose those weapons. So she's gonna. You know what? No, Aragon is flying right in front of the door. Yeah, with she... the wyvern right on me. True. So she's gonna use her <laughs> she's gonna use her movement 
to pretty much hop up onto the magic carpet next to you and start swinging at that fucking wyvern. All right. All right. Here Welcome we go. on. Here comes the warhammer. That is an eighteen plus seven. That's a twenty-five. That is nine points of damage to that wyvern. All right. All right, yeah, Aragon, you just see her kind of like just step up and just upper swing with the hammer. And as a bonus action, she is going to give you, Aragon, Bardic Inspiration. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, with that, so on neat. pretty much uh, when you make a roll, you can add 1d6 uh, to that roll. Interesting. Yes. And that can happen after the roll. Exactly. Correct? Yes. You, if you make a roll, it's so. a good roll. Don't gotta use a one d six yet. If you make a roll, not as good roll. You can use that one d six to make it better. Oh, so okay, that actually changes what I'm gonna do on my turn. All nice. right. Let's see who else. That's the NPCs. Up next is Revan. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna continue shooting the bad boy that I have my hunter's mark on. All right, yeah, he's uh, just, uh, he's up a little like higher, but you're still able to get a good angle on him. Okay, I was going to ask if it was uh, going to be a problem, but uh, I got to gotta do something, because otherwise we're going to start to lose this shit, so. Uh, an 18. 18 will definitely hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, I'm going to roll real quick, see if I get a crit. I did not. All right. Ten damage plus one, so another eleven. All right. Uh, rolling for second shot. So I'm guessing a nine doesn't hit. Nine will miss. Uh, that twenty. Oh, that'll, let's go. That'll definitely hit. Go ahead and roll them crits. Nice. Um. All right. Uh, forty-one damage. Nice fucking okay. shot. What's up? All right, Revan. Yeah, you just kind of like lean out the window again, drive-by style. Turn the gun sideways and just aim upward. Didn't have exposed your belly to me like that, you little bitch. All right, that was a good shot. As this thing thank kinda, like you, thank you. staggers okay. in the air for a second. All right, with that, anything else, Revan? Uh, I'm gonna back away from the window just a bit, enough so that I don't get stabbed. Alright. Five feet back. Why this? Just five feet back, or? Okay, just five feet back. With that, after Revan, it is Aragon. You are up, sure and is. There, is a, there is a big old boy in front of you. Good. Um... Do these things have any natural immunity to anything? Uh, that's a very good question. Let's see. Well, the, the better question is, would Aragon know that? That is a good question. I'd say this, be, this being your do home, I a perception or I no. I, I, the way I'm going to reason this, you being a dragonborn native to this country. You would definitely have known about the Wyvern Riders from where where you grew up initially, and just in general. Uh huh. You would know that they indeed are not, um, you know, immune to anything. They they don't have any resistances or anything like that. Okay. All right. I might have to to take a, a poll with the group here because I've got this extra that one d six, uh, bonus on anything. My whole thing was I just wanted to get one close. So I could do the fire breath to it. Ooh. I had to get close enough. <laughs> but if I get essentially a do-over on two attacks, I mean, not on both, but on one of them if I choose, uh, I don't know. That's why I want to know, are they immune? Because if I could just set one of them on fire, that one's pretty much done. Yeah, no, you could start oh. cooking one. <laughs> now, is the, is the breath okay. weapon a bonus action or is that an action? So that's an action. Okay. 
Yeah, and I also think then there's no... I don't think there's any second action with it. Okay. Um, fuck it. Let's try the... Let's try the fire breath. All right. Um, I think they have to clear a... They got to clear a 13 dex. 13 dexterity. Let's see what he's got. That... They roll... What do you roll? Is a 12 plus 0. Hell yes. You just... Arch your back a bit, shoulders back, and just... Light him up! Alright, go ahead and roll damages. This boy is definitely on fire. Gotta love that. Alright, 2d6. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so I'm looking at my... I've, I, this must be an addition, because I don't ever remember seeing this for the fire breath. It says... Uh, 2d6 fire damage. It says for 2d6 fire damage, 6. 3d6. Like, in what instance would I have it? Oh. 3, 4, or 5d6? That is if you're a spellcaster and can cast that, I think. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, uh, don't... Yeah. I don't think yeah, that's... Er if Aragon was mighty wizard... <laughs> uh-huh. Alright, 2... Make sure I got that 2d6. I haven't done this one in a while. Alright, let's see this. Ten. Hey, 10 points of damage on oh, that guy. Man. Very nice. Let's go. All right, and he is uh, also on fire, which will be a D6 every round. He does not put it Ooh. Out. Love Big that. Moves. Yeah. Love that. Um, But I'm pretty confident I don't get a second action with that. Uh, No, but you... Are you at the level where you can action surge? Say what? Uh, I know it's a fire thing. I can't remember the level, but do you have the ability to action surge yet? I do not believe so, no. Okay, that would be a thing where you use it and you get another, like, action and bonus action. Yeah, sounds good. All right. But, yes, good turn, Aragon. Very good. With that, up next, top of the initiative with Salvador. That's me. Uh, so, big boys outside, right? Yes. Hmm. He's at your hole in the wall. Oh, oh, good gravy. Okay, okay, okay. Pat myself up. Uh, look out the window. He's there. Mm -hmm. Not a good time. I'm just gonna just take a sigh of exhaustion and raise the Elder Ballista up to this dude and just give it another go, you know? All right, go ahead and roll the attack. That is a 14. That'll hit. Oh, thank goodness. Good gravy. Okay, nice. So, uh, artillery. So, I think this is a solid 2d8 I'm about to roll. So, a slash all 2d8. That will be 12 points of damage Very to this nice. big boy. And for it, he's also going to be pushed five feet away. All right. As I raise the cannon and just <laughs> let that stit fry. Stit fry? Shit fly. What the fuck am I saying? I have Stir no idea. Fry? He's got. Stir fry. I, I let it stir fry. There we go. As he just kind of like like staggers his wings, like. <sighs> yeah, I don't like that shit, do you? Uh, part two, slightly better. Not as painful. Still gonna hate it. I raise the other arm. I'm gonna shoot a ray of frost at this guy as my whole action. All right. Go ahead so that will be uh, slash out one d twenty plus six. Uh, twenty four to hit. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. And that'll be a 15 points Very of damage nice. that time. Very nice. Yeah, he is looking hurt. Perfect. Uh, with that done, I'm going to, on my ass, uh, just kind of back away from the window a little bit. Maybe 10 feet. Alright. But would you like to go into this room as a free action? Oh, no, I, I want to line a side on this dude. As long as he can't get into me, All I'm right. happy. Unfortunately, you can only go five feet back as there is a closed door behind you. Ah, that's fine. All right. With that, anything else, Salvador? Uh, nope. Just gonna sit on my ass and pray. All right. Up next, then, is Mina. Yes. All right. There we are. This is working much better than I thought it would. Yeah, no, this is great. Guys, we okay. can have tiered sets. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. So, I am going to assume that from the screams of pain that I heard upstairs, somebody's hurt. Okay. So, um, 
what I'm gonna do actually since Arrakis can like step back from the and that thing is scared I'm gonna still shoot a firebolt okay. at the one that is in front of me All right. Um, and little... then I will run up stairs okay a tiny little blue hand poking out the window 19 will hit Go ahead yeah Oh, I messed that up. Mm. Let's see. 14 points of damage. Oh, nice hit. I forgot Mina's a fucking killer with that. <laughs> like, it's still alive. When she decides man. to be. Okay. Yeah, that thing's not looking too hot. I mean, it's looking hot because it's and I scorched, but... I am going to use my movement to run upstairs. <laughs> Alright, I'd say your full 30 feet would get you up to the top floor. Uh, just kind of cresting the steps. And we'll use for the sake of imagery. There's the top floor, and here you are. Beautiful. Um, and then, since I'm right there, I might just go ahead... And cast as a bonus action healing word. And I'll do that at second level. I was gonna say, was so. the first spell an action spell? Like, did you need to use an action to cast it? I did, and healing word is a, bon a bonus action. Okay, then. Go ahead and roll for healing word. Okay, cool. Uh, eight. He gets eight, eight health damage. back. Alright, I'm gonna put these two, put this floor down for a second. Eight points of health. Very nice. Woot woot. Alright, with that, anything else, Mina? No, there is nothing else I can do. Alright. So. I'm that good. I'm going to go ahead and have the wyverns take their turn as this one is going to start swooping down and away. This one, let's see, what health is he on? Yeah, the other two are going to hold fast as this one's going to start kind of circling around. So this one is going to go ahead take his attacks on Arrakis again. Because he's got his turn before Arrakis, so let's go ahead and get the floor plan back it up. Actually, we'll just hold it. Well, no, I can't just hold it there because I have to roll with my hands. Shit. So many floors. <laughs> oh, he fell out the... Everyone's falling out of the house. Oh! No, wait. Yeah, that was the scared wyvern. So he is also going to start to kind of like swoop down, back, and away. Felden's spiritual weapon staying in place, not being able to attack of opportunity because it can't do that. And they are both going to start screeching out. <laughs> and with that. You all would start to hear the sound of heavy wings flapping. And with that, emerging in the direction of where the other two were fleeing from, getting just right here, is the Alpha. Oh. Is, the, is that sound a good sound? Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh shit. And with that, oh, uh, we're at the NPC's turn. As first things first, Mira's gonna see that start to approach. Be like, 
Fuck it, we're gonna go ahead and start moving. As he's gonna run back to his control, see if it's ready. Let's go ahead and roll, see if it is ready. 11. The house will slowly start to move forward. Aragon, you and Eris would feel the magic carpet slowly start to get pushed. Uh, not enough to where you lose your footing or anything, but the house is starting to move. Arrakis is going to... Let's Yeah, he's going to go ahead and do that lightning bolt again since it was so effective. So that is a... Is he going to cast it on our, our alpha here? Oh yeah, he's going to see that thing start to approach, and he's going to just be like, Oh god, no, you just go away! <laughs> Alright, that is a save of... What's the deck save? Is it? 16, okay. We're rolling for the alpha. That is it. That that one will just save, but I gotta roll for the one next to it too, since the angle. So let's roll for that one. That one's a failure. So the injured one's gonna be taking damage, and the alpha's taking half damage. Can someone roll me 11d6 again? 11d6, you said? Mm-hmm. 42. 42. Ooh, funny number. <laughs> so, first things first, the full damaged one. Revan, you feel your hunter's mark target no longer a threat. As you hear the horrible death cries <laughs> of one just start... <sighs> as it just starts to plummet <laughs> down and down to the earth below. As the alpha will oh, see that. Me, right, guys? No, that's a Rackus. Come on now. You may have gotten assist, but <laughs> the alpha taking half that damage. Wait, wait, is it half? So half of 42 is, what, 21? Yes. So the alpha only takes 21 points of damage. As it just lets out a horrible... <sighs> as it's pissed. Love that sound. And with that, Arrakis is going to run over towards the steps and see me and is like oh god it's big oh that's great yeah, it's uh, fucking pissed oh fuck god damn it all right with that felden is gonna go ahead and see that thing start to approach and he's gonna move the spiritual weapon over to engage it and he's gonna attack with the spiritual weapon oh the spiritual weapon fell There we are. The spiritual weapon's right up on it. Let's go ahead and change the camera angle. I think it should be. Is it seen? There he is, right down here at the bottom corner. Look how much bigger he is. Oh, that's that's great. Oh, oh I love, I love it. <laughs> love the enthusiasm. <laughs> Spiritual weapon. It's a plus five to hit, right? He's got a good weapon. Not that good as an eight will miss. As the, the alpha wyvern just kind of like picks its legs up as the floating sword just like chops underneath its toes and misses. So, ah, dang it. All right, up next, Eris, who's going to go ahead and feel the house start to move. She's going to go ahead and at least try and get another attack on this wyvern that's on fire. Which I need to roll the d6 damage for. Seventeen will hit. She deals. Okay, I don't know what it's done. 
Varus deals a total of eight damage to that guy who's on fire. All right, and then the uh, fire damage itself. Two points of fire damage. All right. With that, after the NPCs, it's Revan's turn. Woohoo! Okay. So I see the big bad out there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Can I see it from my window? You're kind of poking out this window down here to see it, but yeah, you can see. It. Actually, if you want, you can move to this window and see it fine. I feel like I'm safer if I'm less side window here. Okay. Yeah, you can still attack from this window. So... I'm gonna put Hunter's Mark on that bitch, and All right. I'm gonna yell up to Arrakis, not knowing exactly. I was assume I'm assuming what's going on, but being like, I can't believe you stole that kill from me. Oh god, I feel sick. Oh, so I gotta roll poison damage for Arrakis. Oh god. One, one point of damage. Wait, can I hear that? I don't that? have anything to heal poison Wait, necessarily. No, you can't. But um, but at the very least. I mean, you know, you just gotta sweep it off with poison. Uh-huh. Alright, Revan, a 13. On a normal wyvern would indeed hit, but on the alpha it'll miss. Alright. That first shot completely misses. Rolling for second shot. Uh, well, my great rolls are ending, currently. Uh, 16, 16 will hit. just hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, baby. Let's go. That's all you, Mina. 16 damage. Nice. Nice. That's some good shit, y'all. We're doing it! Hey, you got the alpha down to the normal wyvern's health of 113. Wow! All right. With Doing that, my part. After Revan, it is Aragon. Aragon, you good, buddy? Oh, he's muted. Aragon. My mistake. Okay. Sorry, okay. I had to take a <laughs> I had to take a phone call. My apologies, Gil. Yeah, so um, how is this one that I uh, kebobbed? He's roasted. Like, How's he doing? Is he flailing around? He's yeah, he's flailing. He didn't know how to put the fire out, but yeah, he's not looking like terrible, but he's not looking great. Hmm. Is he still in striking distance? Oh yeah. Or can I use the carpet to get in striking distance? He's still in striking distance, but you would also have felt the house start to move and push the carpet. Ah, I see. Okay, well. I can only use that fire uh I have to have like a I have to have like a rest to replenish that attack. So unfortunately, that's uh, that's out the window. So hmm. let's uh, let's take a swing at him with the with the old hand axe. Old hand axe. All right. Let me get this rolling. The first draconic type enemy, and he's still using the hand axe. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to use that big old long sword. Hey, thirteen will hit that guy. A 13 hits this fucker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm down. Oh, okay, so 1d6 plus 3. Eight. Nice. That's eight points of damage. He is hurting. Okay. Which one is that one? All right. All and right. now I'm going to use my second action for an unarmed strike. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. Uh huh. Armed. Damn, that's still a plus six. God damn, that seems high. I'll take it. Woo! Oh, nice job! You fucking uppercut this. Uh, uh, uppercut uh, this yeah. guy. I said the right word huh. both times. I didn't correct myself. Upper, I, I said the wrong word. I don't know. I like where your your head was at. I uppercucked him. That's not yeah. the word I thought I said. The word I said is a very famous Australian word, but I didn't say it. Can't ah. believe it. Uppercock? I like uppercock. Uppercock. Yeah. Up, upper That's what I did do uh, right there. 
But it's only four damage, unfortunately. Hey, four still, you know, consistent damage is good damage. Mm -hmm. Damn, we do 22 plus the last turn he lost six for the fire damage. He down. He almost down for the count, right? Um, yeah, he out of him and his two, well, one of his brothers is dead. So out of him and the other one's alive, he's actually a bit healthier, but not by much. Wow. Wyverns are tough. I don't see him lasting another turn. All right, with that, after Aragon, it is Salvador. The one and only. Sorry, I flailed for the, the unmute button there like I was a pilot crashing a plane trying to find the ejector seat. Uh, let's see. <laughs> very apropos. I was going to say, you weren't very successful. I was you not. No, no. This, this has gone down in flames, and the last thing the black book is going to hear is me crying. Uh, anyway, so big boy approaching is what I'm getting here, yes. right? And do I probably don't have a clean shot in it with my window, right? Oh, I guess my you, what was once a window is now a gaping hole in the You would if you lean the out the window. Hey, you know hey, this is a good point. Okay, so I'm just going to scooch my ass forward and then just lean out the window look at this thing. Okay. Um, This does not look good. Huh. I get again with, with great contempt towards this thing noticing me. I'm just gonna reach out, you know, reach out the Eldritch Blister and just take a good old pot shot at this bad boy. All right. Um, so slash R one Z twenty plus six. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit. Nice. Oh, shit. So twenty-two will nice. indeed hit the Alpha. Go ahead and roll. Nice. Love that. Damage. He will take 13 points of damage. My luck's going back on these last nice. three damage rolls. I have at least rolled a one. A big dice. Full dice. Uh, eight on an eight D8. Or one D8. What the fuck am I saying? No idea. Anyway. Very nice. Oh. Yeah, they have Salvador. Admittance is the first step, my friend. Mm. Did I get much sleep last night? No. Why do you ask? Well, uh, uh, didn't. <laughs> yeah, they have Salvador. Lovely. Uh, so let Al be healed. This guy will be pushed five feet back, oh. uh, taking that 2d8, and then with the other arm, I will raise, uh, as I do always, uh, my wrist and fire off a ray of frost. So, What's uh, the range slash. on ray of frost? Let's find out. I it might I think it's pretty far, but it might also be short. Um, so ray of frost is a good old 60 feet. Is that too far? Or Let's see. just within range barely lovely uh yep so this will fly out and we'll roll to hit uh that's an 11 to hit so that's probably not as good that'll that'll miss as the frost energy is kind of like it it just kind of like gets one of its wings up and just bats it away i i give the thing a thumbs up and i back back into this room <sighs> With that, and I, I, I try and look very small. After Salvador, it is Mina. All right, I. Third <sighs> I, I gotta take care of our boy here. He is a, he is one of our big hitters, so um, he's looking real bad, isn't he? Oh yeah, like okay. There's a hole in his chest where the stinger stung him. He's looking sick. Oh, God. He's looking peaked. Oh. Okay, what, how much health does he nor, like, is his max? Uh, you would know, he usually has around, like, 72 health. Okay, okay, cool. Um, then we're gonna cast Cure Wounds at 4th level. Ooh. <laughs> 48 plus 2. Alright, hey. let's see what you got. Please be good to me, 17. Okay. Okay, and then, um, is there anything else I can do? Um, shoot, well, <sighs> um, I have a question, Chandler. Yes. Um, about how big is the window <laughs> that's in front of me? <laughs> um, hmm. Good question. I'd say it's about like five feet. Oh goodness! You know, so it's that's something not gonna work if, You know, uh, 
kind of average sized person would have like moderate trouble getting through. But if you wanted to like climb up into a window, you could go. Or are you talking about like these bay windows up here? Um, I'm talking about whatever is like facing this big alpha dragon that's on the floor that I'm on. Right here would be a large yeah. kind of like floor to ceiling window that's about 10 feet wide. 10 feet wide. Yeah. And it's I'm open. I'm looking at my giant constrictor snake and I'm wondering what his actual dimensions are. He's and I, I have to use I have to use a um an action to summon him anyway. So I might just spend this next term researching how big he is and contemplating if I want to um have him just kind of strike out from the window. So um uh I guess that's good for me for this turn. I've okay. got planning to do. Alright. With that up next are the wyverns, and I'm gonna have the alpha make an intelligence. Yeah, net 20. Uh-oh. As you just hear him kind of like start calling out. <laughs> as I don't love that. Aragon, no. you are going to get an attack of opportunity as this one is going to start flying away. Oh. oh. He's not going to get away from me. <laughs> What'd you get? Um, I haven't rolled yet. Uh, right. Do I get to choose between... Unarmed, or is this? Uh, what's the just, opportunity? Is it a straight up roll? One D what? Uh, yeah, it's a straight up attack roll. Okay. Yeah, I know, but is it like? Do I? Is it a? Can I pick like, hand axe or unarmed? Like, is there any limit on it or no? No, you can uh, like as long as you've used the weapon in the previous round of attacks, you yeah. can use it. All right, we're good. Nineteen's gonna hit. Nineteen will definitely hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Hell yeah. And this is the best I've rolled in a while. You're fighting dragon-like creatures. It's, it's almost as if you've trained for this. Uh-huh. Not great. <laughs> All right. In the four. All right. With that, also, Eris will get an attack of opportunity. That is a 23 for 10 damage. That's... Yeah, you just see Eris like clobber this thing's leg and you hear an audible <laughs> as like Wyvern like flaps away. Uh, let's go ahead and change the screen. As collectively these guys are going to go ahead and start to fly off this way. This one flying away. Yeah, these two are going to dash. And the alpha one is going to go ahead and just kind of like get between you and them and just kind of hold its stance. And with that, up next are the NPCs. As Aragon, you're going to hear from inside the house. Okay, everybody, buckle in. We're building momentum, so hold the fuck off. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Aragon, can you make me a right. dexterity saving throw? Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. What'd you say? That's all good. I was going to say, can you make me a dexterity saving throw? Yes. All right. All right, one second. We're going to see if you can pilot the carpet back into the house. Oh, unless I can re-roll. That's only on attacks, I imagine, that bonus I had. No, you can use the D6 here. Now I, now I additionally do 1D6? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, All right, okay. there's a 13. Is 13. that enough? 13. I'm going to make a general uh, deck save for Eris now. Okay, Eris has got a net 20. So she's All able right. to more than naturally hang on as you manage to pilot the carpet back into the house as it starts to just lift off and go away from the situation. The king wyvern, or the alpha wyvern, watching as the house lifts up into the air. 
And with that, we're going to call a session here. All right. Ah! Thank you all oh boy. so much for hanging out this week. Everyone in chat, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, and I don't mean to you know, be too proud of my own work, but uh, the fun thing about... Oh, the little sword fell again. But the cool thing about these little wyverns, they came like this. They look like this. They're professionally painted. I did this one by hand, and I hope it looks good. Holy it looks shit. wonderful. It looks good amazing, job. Man. Yeah, and look how much bigger it is than the, the normal ones. That's yeah, massive. that's ridiculous. The wings as big as the figurine. Yeah. That's a beautiful boy. Let's good see shit, I like he that. Starts the house, he's an entire story. Good lord. Oh no. All right. One hit and I'm a dead man. I need to get away from this dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah. So a... Yeah, you need to you need to head upstairs to me where I can heal you. Indeed. I have taken literally zero points of damage. It'll be, it'll be a waste. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but that being said, again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you all had a, a very fun time tonight. Uh, to all you in chat, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, tune in next week as we'll probably be setting up the last session for at least a little while because i know i'll have a, another proper project to work on like the battle boat where i won't be able to just build a, a pre-made thing out of a bunch of stuff i already have because this is all like like this was so much fun to make i'm sad i didn't get a fourth story but boy oh boy that would have been a lot to move around but again until next time feel free to go over to the world of astoria youtube channel to see the rest of the series all seven seasons in their technologically challenged glory head on over to our new twitter page welcome to astaria that's welcome without an e to astaria and hey if you like daily content related to this kind of stuff and other DD things in general go on over to the in the instagram page the world of astaria Do it. but until oh, next yeah. time thank you all so much for tuning in and we will see you around the house have a good night everybody Goodbye, everyone. Later. Goodbye, and good night.